Hello, and thank you for choosing Constant Therapy. Once you have selected a specific patient, there are three screens available to you, the Summary tab, the Tasks tab, and the Reports tab. You can see these options at the bottom of the screen. I will now review the Tasks tab. This screen gives you access to all of the cognitive and language tasks. Here you are able to assess and identify the tasks most appropriate for your patient and then to also create a homework assignment. Before we get into the details of the Tasks tab, let's review some basic options that are always available to you at the top of the screen. When you are logged into Constant Therapy, several key tools will always appear at the top of the page. You can add a patient by tapping the blue icon and adding your patient's information, or you can select an existing patient by choosing from the drop-down menu. Here you will see all of your existing patients, and you will also have an option of removing a patient. When you choose to remove a patient, you will have the option of disabling that patient's account, or that patient could continue to use constant therapy after leaving your care. If you select yes, patient will continue, you'll need the patient's consent to finish this process. Once your patient has entered their username and password, you'll be able to enroll them with an existing clinician, or you can enroll them in Constant Therapy Direct. Our Constant Therapy Direct program is a system that will automatically select and assign tasks that are meaningful for this patient. This allows for continuity of care for those patients who wish to keep using Constant Therapy but are no longer under your care. The report icon on the top right of the screen allows you to create and distribute reports for the patient that you have currently selected. Each report will contain a description of the tasks that the patient has performed, as well as detail about the patient's performance on four metrics, accuracy, latency, cues, and attempts. Each report contains information about the patient's baseline score and final score. You can tailor the report to a specific date range by tapping select a date range, and you can also choose to send a report by email. Also in the right hand corner of the screen is the tutorial icon. By tapping on the question mark, you can see all of the options available to you on this page. Simply tap anywhere on the screen to move through the guide. In the top right hand corner, you'll also see a settings icon. Within settings, you have a number of options. You can take notes, and these notes are available privately only to you. You can also send messages to your patient, so we could communicate with Jane Doe, and she would read this message the next time that she opens the app. You can also adjust therapy settings. For instance, we could specify that Jane Doe is right-handed and that she would like to repeat instructions for each item that she hears in constant therapy. Also in settings, we have the account settings section. In account settings, you can adjust your contact information or change the password to your account. Now that you're familiar with the tools available at the top of the screen, Let's return our focus to the Tasks tab. Remember, this tab allows you to identify tasks, assess patients, and create homework assignments. To identify a task for a patient, let's review the tasks available to us. On the left-hand side of the screen is our task list. You can see that we have two types of tasks, language and cognitive. We can drill down by tapping on these tasks and seeing other categories. Once we don't see any more arrows, we know that we're at the task itself. When you are ready to assess a patient on a task, simply tap on that task. You'll see a pop-up with instructions for how to complete the task. You can also tap on the picture for a video of the task with instructions. Here we can also adjust the difficulty level and item count of the task. For instance, if we only want our patient to complete three items, we would tap on the number and enter the new item count. When the difficulty level and item count is set, the patient may tap start to begin. When the patient has completed the task, you'll see a pop-up screen that explains how he or she performed. If you would like to use this performance as the patient's baseline, simply tap yes. This will be recorded as the patient's baseline performance 
so that you can compare your patient's progress to this score later on. We now see a pop-up asking if we would like to add this task to the patient's homework. If we tap yes, the homework will be moved and we'll see that task go to the right side of the screen under homework assignment. We can also add tasks to the homework assignment by tapping and dragging from the left. If you need to adjust the item count or difficulty, simply tap on the task and then tap update task. In the homework assignment list, you can also change the order of items by tapping and dragging on the three lines. This will allow you to change the order to whatever best suits your patient. If you need to delete an item, you can tap the minus sign and then tap delete. And one thing that's important to note is that every homework assignment must be saved. Use the save button in order to save any changes that you make to the homework assignment. If you don't tap save, any updates that you make will not be assigned to the patient. However, if you make a mistake and need to restore a homework assignment, you can use the restore button. This will restore the homework assignment to the last version that you saved. This has been an overview of all the options available to you in the tasks tab. Remember, the tasks tab is where you can access all the constant therapy tasks and assess and assign homework for your patients. If you need a reminder of the options available to you on this page, simply tap the question mark icon. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing constant therapy.